Why is maximizing efficiency in a wind turbine inherently more complex than controlling a photovoltaic system? This is due to the fact that when wind speed doubles, output power increases eightfold. This implies that even a slight variation in wind speed can cause a significant difference in the power produced. For a photovoltaic system, this can be easily adjusted using a mechanism known as maximum power point tracking. This means that the inverter continuously tries to draw more power from the photovoltaic system. As long as the output keeps increasing, it escalates the power, and if it detects a decrease, it then knows it's at the system's optimal output point at this moment. However, this isn't applicable to a wind turbine, because at the moment I demand more power from the rotor than what it can generate currently, it either simply halts or is immediately braked heavily. That means I can always request too little power. That's not a problem, I can, but I can never ask for too much power because then I just break the rotor and generate extremely little to no electricity at all. That means optimizing the installation to these last few percentage points from already good to very good, to optimize the absolute maximum that is possible is extremely time consuming, requires tens of thousands of data records and very many weeks and months of time. And that's what we've done with the Skywind NG here to optimize the system. Because we now know, regardless of whether the wind increases or decreases or stays the same, how we need to optimally control the system so that the systems for tens of thousands of customers generate exactly the optimum of what is currently possible. And that benefits all customers. Because with a simple software update, optimized settings can also be installed on all systems that have been running for 10 years, thus optimizing the yield for all customers who own a Skywind engine.